Can perfection ever be achieved in rocket design? Or is it the constant drive to improve that truly defines success? SpaceX Starship challenges this very idea. With each version, it evolves bigger, better, and more advanced, not just in sheer power, but in the intricacies of how it's built. Among these innovations, welding stands out as the unsung hero, quietly revolutionizing the way this monumental spacecraft comes to life. So how has this seemingly simple process evolved into a game changer for SpaceX, and what revolutionary techniques can we expect in the future? Building Starship is like assembling a giant metallic puzzle, with each piece carefully crafted to create a seamless whole. The stainless steel rings that form the rocket's body aren't just stacked. They're joined through precise welding techniques. While it might sound like a mundane detail, welding is one of the most critical aspects of Starship's structural integrity. Without it, the spacecraft's ambitious missions would be impossible. Elon Musk has often stressed that consistent, high-quality welding is key to the rocket's success. But achieving this level of precision, especially with stainless steel, is anything but straightforward. In Starship's early days, SpaceX relied on flux cord arc welding, or FCAW, to assemble its prototypes. While this method was effective enough to get the program off the ground, it came with significant drawbacks. The high heat of FCAW caused the stainless steel to warp, leaving visible seams and surface imperfections. These flaws weren't just unsightly, they posed real risks. Weak or uneven welds could crack under stress, especially during the fiery ordeal of atmospheric re-entry. Recognizing these challenges, SpaceX quickly sought alternatives. Enter TIG-TIP welding, a semi-automated process that marked a turning point in Starship's development. This method allowed SpaceX to create smoother, stronger welds with much greater precision. Musk himself described the benefits of this upgrade, noting that TIG-TIP welding not only reduced Starship's mass by 20%, but also produced joints that were significantly stronger. The result? A more resilient spacecraft capable of carrying heavier payloads and enduring harsher conditions. But SpaceX didn't stop there. As they pushed the boundaries of what Starship could achieve, they also refined their welding techniques further. Automated laser welding machines were introduced, bringing a new level of precision and efficiency to the assembly process. These high-tech systems created virtually invisible welds, giving newer prototypes a sleek, polished appearance. Comparing the rough seams of early models to the seamless finishes of recent versions shows just how far SpaceX has come. The choice of materials has also played a pivotal role in Starship's evolution. Initially constructed with 301 stainless steel, the rocket now uses 304L, a more advanced alloy with superior properties. This newer material is not only more resistant to corrosion, a crucial factor in space travel, but also far stronger and more ductile at extreme temperatures. These enhancements have significantly improved the rocket's durability, making it better suited for the punishing conditions of deep space. The advancements in welding and materials have done more than just strengthen Starship. They've revolutionized its production. Automation has drastically reduced build times with Prototypes like Ship 33 being completed in just 42 days. This efficiency is critical as SpaceX moves toward mass production, aiming to produce one Starship per day in the near future. Facilities like the Star Factory and the planned Giga Bay are already ramping up operations to meet this ambitious goal. And at the heart of it all is welding, the foundational process that makes these rockets possible. Looking ahead, the upcoming V3 version of Starship promises to take innovation to the next level. Expected to stand at a staggering 150 meters tall, this iteration will push the limits of both engineering and imagination. Enhanced welding techniques will play a key role in its success, ensuring the rocket can withstand even more extreme conditions. 
Reusability, a cornerstone of SpaceX's mission, will also benefit from these advancements, as stronger, more precise welds reduce wear and tear between flights. Of course, all these improvements will be tested in the harshest conditions imaginable. Starship's journey doesn't end with its construction, it's just the beginning. Re-entry, with its blistering temperatures and intense forces, remains one of the greatest challenges. Yet with each test flight, SpaceX gathers invaluable data, refining their designs and methods. Flight 7, scheduled for early next year, will be a critical milestone, showcasing the capabilities of V2 and laying the groundwork for V3. As production accelerates, so does the pace of testing and launching. New facilities, enhanced launch towers, and systems like the Flame Trench test rig are all part of SpaceX's strategy to increase launch frequency. The goal? To make Starship not just a rocket, but a reliable workhorse for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. In this episode, we embarked on a fascinating exploration of the technological marvels that underpin SpaceX's Starship focusing on the pivotal role of welding in its evolution. Far from being a simple assembly technique, welding has emerged as a cornerstone of Starship's design, dictating its structural integrity, durability, and overall performance. From the rough, visible seams of early prototypes to the sleek, seamless finishes of today, the story of Starship's welding advancements is a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. SpaceX's innovation didn't stop there. The introduction of automated laser welding machines brought even greater precision and efficiency, creating welds so fine that they're virtually invisible on newer prototypes. This transformation wasn't just aesthetic, it fundamentally strengthened the rocket, enabling it to withstand the extreme stresses of space travel. Alongside these advancements in welding techniques, SpaceX made a critical material upgrade, transitioning from 301 stainless steel to 304L stainless steel. This newer alloy offered superior corrosion resistance, enhanced ductility, and up to four times the strength of its predecessor, further bolstering Starship's reliability. Starship's journey is far from over, and every advancement brings us closer to a future where space travel becomes routine. The question remains, can SpaceX truly achieve perfection, or is the pursuit of constant improvement what will ultimately define their success? Whatever the answer, one thing is clear. Starship is not just a rocket, it's a testament to human ingenuity and the drive to reach for the stars. Finally, we highlighted the significance of these advancements in achieving SpaceX's ultimate vision, enabling sustainable interplanetary travel. These improvements aren't just about building a rocket, they're about redefining what's possible for humanity's future in space. So. What makes these changes so critical, and how do they shape the destiny of Starship? Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.